Hey guys, Mr. Howard here. I want to run through how to use eBackpack and Notability to both pull assignments down from the web that I'm assigning to you and turn those assignments back in once you've completed them. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to get the assignment and the assignment will be an eBackpack. So I click on that or touch that and it launches eBackpack. From here I should just be able to enter and now I get a list of folders that are available to me. I have assignment review, which is where teachers go to review things that have been turned in, so you guys don't have that option. Assignment turn in is where you turn in files. ePortfolio and my files are both used uh, to store your own files, so I'm not going to worry about those. And then shared class and group files is where you go to find assignments that have been shared with you that you need to complete. So I'm going to go ahead and touch that and now it'll bring up all the different classes that you're enrolled in whether or not your teacher uses this the class will show up okay? and I've named mine by their class period so they go in order so I'm just gonna pick fourth period science 9 I'm gonna touch that and now it says alright here's a list of all the things that the teacher has made available to you and I want to take a look at lab 23 which is a thermal energy lab and I touch that and it opens this document up well, this folder up and it shows me whatever's in here. Okay. There's only one document in here, it's the 2-3 lab handout, so I'm going to go ahead and click that, launch it, and it'll go ahead and download this PDF onto your iPad. Okay. Once it's there, we're going to want to open it in Notability. So to do that, down in the bottom right, there's this little sharing arrow, and I'm going to touch that, and it's going to say, alright, now what? I want to open in, and it lists a few different options for me okay. and I want the option of notability because in notability I can um, open and edit it and, and send it back in okay. and the first thing it says is alright uh, what do you want to do with this you want to add it to something else or create something new I want to create something new and then it says how many of those pages do you want I need them all, all right. And so now I've got my new lab open in Notability. And the first thing I'm going to do is touch up in the gray bar. And that way I can add my own name to it. Yeah, I don't want to change what's there, but I do want to add my name to it. That way if I end up emailing this to somebody, uh, it'll show up with my name in the attachment. And the teacher will know who it is. Okay. Good idea. All right, so now I'm ready to edit my document. So I'm going to go ahead and draw on it a little bit. Okay, so I've answered my questions. Scroll down, answer my question. Okay, I'm done. I need to turn it in. So I go up to my sharing arrow up in the top left. I touch that, and it's going to have some different options, right? The destination. There's a list of def destinations. You can email it, put it in a Dropbox, send WebDAV, or you can use OpenIn. WebDAV is a glitchy way right now for it to get into eBackpack. eBackpack has made it better by by allowing this open in thing. So if I touch open in and then choose open in here, it'll say, all right, where do you want to open it? And I want to open it in eBackpack because that's where I want to turn it in. So I touch eBackpack, eBackpack launches, and eBackpack says, where do you want it to be? And once you find where you want it to be, push copy. Okay. So I'm turning something in, so I'm going to go to assignment turn in is going to load all the different classes that I can turn stuff into. This came from 4th period science 9, so I'm going to turn it back in to 4th period science 9. And then it was lab 2-3, so I'm going to go to lab 2-3. And now up in the top right, I'm going to have the ability to copy this folder in. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to copy it. Okay. And it tells me the file was uploaded successfully. I push OK and now I've turned in my lab and if I go back and look okay, at my assignment turn-ins okay, so I'm up here I want to look at what I've turned in and I'm going to come down to my class and I'm going to see what's in there and it was lab 2-3 and I can see there's the assignment I turned in, lab 2-3, my name's on there, 
and if I touch that it's got my marks on it that I made and I can see oh good the assignment I wanted to turn in has been turned in the teacher can see that through the assignment review and even give you feedback although that works a little better through Safari than through the app the app works really nice for pulling stuff down and turning stuff in